surprised and pleased, pleasantly surprised, let me put it. When I called heads of parastatals, chairmen and CEOs, and I explained to them the situation where we are, and I told them, look, each and every one of you need to go back and reduce your budgets, especially the budgets of recurrent expenditure by 30%. I was pleasantly surprised that each and every parastatal was willing to contribute to making sure that we live within our means. And each one of them went back and they have submitted their reports and they have actually reduced their recurrent budgets by 30%. And that is even the reason why even my office and that of my deputy and that of my prime cabinet secretary, we have said we are going to start with ourselves. We must lead from the front, tighten up our belts, invest in the places that will make sure that we create broader prosperity, invest in making sure our dairy is working. Our flowers are working. Our coffee and tea are working. The places that create opportunity for the majority of Kenyans are working. And I promise you that as a steward that I have the privilege to be, we will act responsibly and we will manage the affairs of the country with integrity and with selflessness so that we can build a nation of hope that people know that their government cares. Let me say this, or let me disclose. You know, when I saw the debate in Kenya, as to how I traveled to the US. <laughs> you know? And there was, you know, all manner of uh, figures, you know. Uh, this plane is this big and it is like this. Google here, Google there. This one must have costed 200 million because the president needed to, uh, to arrive in style in the US, <laughs> holding Rachel's hand. <laughs> you know, I am a very responsible steward. Believe you me. There is no way I can spend 200 million. There is no way. In fact, let me disclose here that it costed the Republic of Kenya less than 10 million. Because, let me tell you, I am not, I am not a madman. When I was told the cheapest uh, plane was 70 million. I told my office, go book Kenya Airways. Yeah? So when some friends of mine heard that uh, I was going to travel Kenya Airways, and uh, we have built a big reputation as a country. We have built friends. Some friends told me, how much do you want to pay? I said, I'm not ready to pay more than 20 million. They said, bring 10 million, we will give you the plane. <laughs> Look at me, Kenyans. Look at me again. I must lead from the front. As I tell others, 
As I tell others to tighten up their belt, mine must be where to begin. So relax, you know, and, and, and the debate must end because I am that responsible. And it is going to be that way. We are going to make sure that we tighten up our belts, we live within our means. In fact, my plan is that in three years, we must have a balanced budget. We cannot continue <laughs> to have a budget that has a deficit, that before you begin, you have to borrow. I have told every person, including the leadership of Treasury, Professor Ndungo, Kipto, and all the others, that that's where we are going. And I'm very proud of the support I get from my economic team, led by Professor Ndi and all the other people there. They're doing a good job. Now, in conclusion, I said in our national anthem, we pray that we shall flourish in a land of plenty. That is the Kenya we all want, and that is the Kenya we all aspire for. I want to thank you very much for coming for this uh, prayer breakfast. I, I, you are the best country that I know. <laughs>